Welcome back to the bike barn. Today we are back and today we're going to be building the second feature on our jump trail that goes all the way down the driveway. Today we're going to be building a pucker pad. You may have seen it in one of Seth's bike hacks videos, which is basically what we'll be copying or you may have seen a version of it at Whistler Bike Park. Basically you, you, you jump up onto a piece of wood and then use that to ramp off to their side onto the landing. In Seth's video, he did a 10 by 4 foot platform and so I think I'm going to do a 12 by 4 foot platform just to make it a little bit more predictable. But I want it to you know, be big enough to where it's easily predictable and a little bit easier to use so hopefully that's gonna be big enough so yeah the first thing I gotta do is build this huge platform and then we got to get it in the ground so let's do it <laughs> Just like that, finish the entire top part of the platform. Well, sort of. Everything's laid out and screwed in partly. Uh, I only have one screw in each board, as you can see. So I'm gonna have to uh, fix that. Or, or that's that's what I'm gonna do outside the time lapse. Cause I, you guys are gonna see that I'm just screwing it in. So we got the main platform done. There's gonna be boards on the sides here, like as a case pad, and on the other side. Uh, but I'm not gonna put those on until we get it up onto the stilts. So next step is getting it off the ground. Alrighty. <laughs> well, this is absolutely ginormous uh it will be a foot into the ground but still it's absolutely ginormous i mean look at this man I don't, yeah i don't know if it's gonna work as a as a pucker pad or not we may end up making it a boner log which will also be really cool because you'll get a ton of air with it uh, but we'll have to see. Um, and in case you don't know what a bunder log is, it's just a jump, but it's got a flat. Instead of a curved takeoff, it's got a flat takeoff, just like this. So you you know roll right onto it and then fly off. So and essentially it'd be about the same thing. It's just with it'd be without that that beginning hop on. So I got a bit of landing for it, and then we got to see how it is. I marked the spots where the posts need to go on the ground, so now I'm going to dig it out with the excavator and then we will get it in the ground. Alright, it is now the moment of truth. It's time to put it in the ground. Let's see how this goes. but I am pretty happy with how it's looking. This thing is gonna be crazy. I've got it buried for the most part. I need to do a little bit more leveling out of the dirt, but that just takes time because Arkansas dirt is terrible and it just doesn't, it's just full of rock, so it doesn't really move much. So, but it is in the ground and it is solid. So now we got to build the jump for it and we'll do that using the skid steer. Alrighty, I've now built the uh, on ramp, I guess you would call it, to this uh, feature. Uh, I think I'm pretty happy with how it 
you know how it jumps onto it it's got a little bit of a gap but you know it's gonna be pretty easy to hop actually onto here but the big part or the big gap is gonna be whenever you hop off no no there's no actual real gap but like you're gonna most likely clear all of this the goal is to have the landing start going down right here which i started to do but it's got a bit more of a bit more work to do on that but yeah this has all got to harden before i try it out so i guess we will see you whenever um whenever it's dry enough to try out Alrighty guys, uh, it's now, what is this? It's Saturday, we're here with Brennan actually. Mm -hmm. He decided to show up to film some other videos here. Oh, yeah. uh, and we're here at the pucker pad and everything is starting to dry out, but it, it still needs a little bit more sun time. So I went ahead and put some boards on everything, but it is all pretty smoothed out now. I do gotta go over it with the whacker packer whenever it's dry enough, but yeah, so far it's looking really good and it's time to try it out for the first time. It is a scary day, cause I don't wanna do this. I, I'd love to have Brandon go first, but it's, you know, I built it, I want to go first, you know, it's just, I gotta go first, so, uh, <laughs> I guess we just gotta go for it and see what happens, so, uh, <laughs> we'll see what happens! <laughs> That's not bad. I think we're gonna have to add two rollers there to get a little more speed uh, out of it, you know. But and that's because not because of this. This this is fine. I can land whatever speed I want. But for the feature after it, which you guys will see in the next video, that's gonna be uh, one we're gonna need a lot of speed to get to it. So yeah, let me try that again, and I'll probably go off of this time. Woo, this thing is crazy. Ready? Mhm. Mm That was so good. Yes! That was awesome. Woo! <laughs> yeah, I definitely need a little more speed, but uh But how'd you like it? It felt actually pretty smooth from I mean I had that adrenaline going, but like yeah. it feels pretty smooth for the most part. Obviously, the, the landing you guys already yeah. can tell it's bad, but that's because I I built it for any speed right now and I can shape it on whatever speed we have, so <sighs> <laughs> need a breather. Alright, yeah. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll hit it one more time, make sure to see what the speed is. I may end up taking that roller out at the beginning mm -hmm. because you might just want all that speed or all that all that area back there it might you have it, you know, for pedaling. Get that speed for that for the first jump and then for the pucker pad. So, but I definitely think we're gonna have to add two rollers in there. Yeah, let's hit it again. I'm hitting that soft dirt and that's slowing me down. So let me do it one more time and try to stay on that, that wood this time. Hopefully it's not too wet uh, underneath here, but look, there's still grass that didn't die down here. <laughs> that is insane. I've, this roller's been here since the beginning of this series, so it's wow. over a week, and it's still there. I don't know how the grass survived, but, but yeah, this feels fine. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. So um, now we're just going to use all this to pedal to get speed for the rest of it, and yeah. it's going to give me a little more speed into the tabletop than originally planned, so I'm going to have to also extend the landing on the tabletop a bit, so that's going to yeah. be a little bit bigger too, so that'll be sweet. But yeah, let's just try it out now. Oh yeah. It's a lot more speed out of that. Yeah. So with those rollers there that, that we're gonna add before the pucker pad, we're gonna probably do you can fit two in there, I think. That'll really give you quite a bit of speed going into this. So it feels great, it launches you off just right. So now let's have Brennan try it. Here comes Brennan on his first run on the pucker pad. You ready? Yep.
Send it! Dude, that felt so smooth though. I know, dude. It's not too bad, is it? <laughs> and, and once you get that landing perfect, yeah. Oh. It's gonna, gonna be it's gonna be a dream. Oh my gosh, that's so much fun. Yeah, you should try uh <laughs> try pedaling into it on after both oh, the jumps, yes. pedal into it and see how far yes. you can go. Pedal, pedal, pedal! Oh yeah. Dude, that felt so good. Yeah. I felt like I could have even gone faster. Yeah, probably. You wanna <laughs> pedal into the side, like from the side? Oh dude, let's do it. Alright, I'm gonna do it too, we can both do it. Dude, that it's was freaking dumb. I wanna do that again. Woo! Yeah! Oh, cleared it! Nice! That was epic. I freaking boosted that. Yeah, and no matter how fast you go off that little, the lip, it honestly, always puts you on it perfect. Dude, that's honestly perfect already. The yeah. landing. Well, it just needs to be smoothed out, that's all. True. I need to grade it a little bit more smooth, and then I need to... Oh, look at that. Do that. Alrighty, well, it's safe to say this was a great success. I cannot wait to show you what I have planned next, guys. Be sure to stay tuned for the next Bike Barn Build Series video because, oh dude, it's something that I've never seen anywhere in the whole world. There may be one in the world, but I've never seen it, so it's gonna be insane. And the lumber is not gonna be cheap for it, so yeah, just know that it's gonna be pretty big. Heck yeah. So stay tuned, hit that subscribe <laughs> button. We also do a lot of riding videos if you, if you wanna check those out. I'll put a card right here and you can uh, check those out. So yeah. thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Be sure to like the video and uh, if you have any suggestions for features to build down the line, put them in the comments. Yeah. Uh, with that being said, thanks for watching and don't forget to shred the gnar.